I Sneaky Pew Pew back again with another tutorial. Today we're going to go over how to make a digital fuel gauge on your display. Now you'll see I have a bunch of displays here. I don't need to have just plain text up here. That's just, it doesn't fit the aesthetic, right? So let's get some colors in there. Let's get a graph in there. Um, I'm going to show you how to make it. We're going to go over a little bit of Lewis scripting. I'm going to show you how I use just a paintbrush to get my measurements for the Lewis script. And we're going to set this script up so you can customize it at your own convenience. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we know the dimensions that we're working with in order to help us resolve where to put stuff in the Lewis script. So this requires a basic understanding of the pixel dimensions of each of these monitors. It's 32 pixels by 32 pixels for each square. So if we have three squares wide, that's 32 times three, which is 96. So we've established that we have 32 tall, 96 wide. Now, what we've done is we've drawn a box, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, six. 96, 32 tall, right? We're gonna use this if we ever have any trouble or if we wanna just, you know, you could even use this to draw out your display first and then it would give you just something to reference while you're doing your Lewis script. It's not necessary but it's worth it in my opinion. Uh, first we're going to draw our progress bar, right? So we'll do green so we have something that kind of stands out. I'd say maybe about 30% here. So 10, 20, 30. Um, we'll just do two from the edge. You know like in your car where your gas gauge has like the uh, quarter tank, you know, the half tank. You'll notice that the little ticks are kind of bigger or smaller in certain parts of that. So we want to do the same thing with this. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 64 is our dimension of our box. What is 64 divided by, let's say we have a quarter, 8. So let's say we divide it by 8. So 64 divided by 8 is 8. So we need to split this into 8 pieces. We can just put some markers here. We'll do them in red this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so we've got these marked out as best as we can. You know, it's not exact, but it's close enough. If you get to this end here and you cover all these pixels, you will be fine. You'll be 100%. It'll be, it'll be great. So what we want to do is mark these out a little bit longer for the quarters. So you got a quarter tank at this point. You have a half tank at this point, And you have a quarter tank here. And we can do this one side or we can do a double sided. I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do all the way down. I'm going to do up on both sides, four here, four here. We'll do our ticks. Whoop. And we're good to go. Okay. So we've established, kind of like a football field, um, established that uh, we have our gauges and we can erase the rest of these blue, blue marks just because uh, they might get in the way visually here. All right. So we've got this all marked up. It's looking, you know, Christmassy. I guess it's that time of the year anyway. So uh, we'll go ahead and edit our Lewis script and we'll get this on the monitor before we move forward. All right, so first things first, we have to make a microcontroller so that we can put the Lewis script in and we can push it out to the display. So open up your microcontroller editor and you'll see that I have created a what I call a fuel screen. Uh, the logic, I just made it two. It, you only need two for this. A video out and a fuel, the fuel number in. You can see that here, number input, video output. Name them video out. I've named this one video out, this one fuel. My symbol, you can just do whatever you want. I did something quick. Let's go into the editor here for the logic. And we're going to take a composite write number and smack that in there. And our Lua script. Now, the reason why we have this, you'll see, is that you tie the fuel into the composite right, which converts it to a composite signal, um, the composite into the data input for the Lewis script, and then it's video out. 
nothing more to be done there. That's all you're going to need till the end of the tutorial. So from here, we're going to edit the Lewis script. And we can get rid of all of this extra. So you go ahead and just get rid of all these notes here. All right, there we go. That looks a whole lot better. Uh, but we still got some stuff there that we don't need. So we're going to take the set color and the screen draw circle F. We're going to take those right out of there. We don't need those. And we can leave the value input get number one here as a reference. We don't need this guy here. So what we're going to do, we have the fuel input, right? So we're going to take the value and we're just going to say fuel, whoops, input dot get number one. So the input right here, composite input is going to be number one, fuel. Okay. So for this guy, we're going to leave these the same and we're going to add set color, ooh, screen set color to zero, 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 which will be black, you know, on an RGB scale. 255 being the greatest, zero is the black. The first zero is red, the second zero is green, and the last zero is blue. All right. We're going to screen, draw, clear. What this is going to do is just going to draw, um, it's just going to clear the screen. And if you have any issues with this, you can go to the help page here. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, there's a lot to it here, but um, it's actually not a lot when you go looking for stuff that you're trying to do that's kind of complex. But you'll see it right there. Clear the screen with the current color. We've set the color as zero, so it's going to just draw a black screen for us. Um, you'll notice a pattern here in Lua. If you don't know anything about Lua um, or don't care to know anything about it, you will notice a pattern anyways that there's a, you have to set a color before you do something that draws and it's gonna draw in whatever color you set. So, and it's in order, right? So you set green, do some commands, they're all gonna come out in green, then you gotta set the color again, run some commands, and those commands will come out in whatever your second color is. So you'll see it's sequential. Uh, we're going to give us ourselves two spaces here. I always like to give myself an extra line break just so I can keep my code more organized and I can kinda of go in and troubleshoot it if I mess something up, which happens a lot. So we're going to set the screen color to 255, you know, we can do like 200, 200, 200. Um, that'll give us a white. Since they're all the same value, it's, it's pretty much white. Uh, if they're all the same value, it would be white to gray to black. You know, black being 000, white being 255, 255, 255. Gray's in the middle somewhere, say like 100, 100, 100, something like that. 127 to be more uh, in the middle, if you wanted to be accurate. But once we set our screen, our, we're going to set our color for our text, right? So uh, then we'll set our screen draw rectangle. And this is going to be that green line we made. And let's do... Let's just do a value of zero, zero, zero. For now, we'll save this. And we'll just name it fuel display save. And we'll go back to, to this drawing we made. And we'll, we'll, we'll do this, we'll count. So 10, 20, 30. So at 30, down two. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, at 94 down 2. And this is a total of how many across? I'll count it for you. 26. All right, so some quick horrible sketches here. We have two in from the, from the edge. That's going to be on both sides. This is 64 long, and it's 26 tall. So we'll go back to our script here. That's right, so a we'll place our... Our microcontroller down and we'll go ahead and edit it all right we got our Lua script so we're gonna take our value of 30 because we were 30 from the left edge and then we're gonna do 2 in 
from the corner and our length is 64 and we will end on 26 and we're going to go ahead and notate that with rectangle so we know and we'll go ahead and save this update it and we're going to hook up some uh, monitors so uh, we can see all right we made it back into my lab we got the screen all hooked up everything is looking beautiful it looks centered it's right where we drew it to be and we got the uh, fuel screen microcontroller here and I have a constant on back here just so you can uh, have, have power to that and then we have a large keypad just because we're going to change the values of this guy and we're going to make this go up and down so we can have these fuel levels float you know up and down and we can watch it watch it work in real time okay for the next trick we're going to put some text right here that says fuel and we'll go up on the roof and we'll we'll draw that out so we know a good starting point at least and then we can uh, just edit our Lewis script and we'll be good to go uh, additionally we're going to put in these lines here uh, that we marked out on the roof okay so we're going to take our four by five reference square here we're going to use that as a guide to kind of get some text in here somewhere so let me just paint the center here real quick all right so the two dots here are going to be roughly the center so what we'll do is we'll just kind of throw some text kind of block this out that's about how tall the text is going to be that looks good enough to me so we'll just mark this out we have 10 on the 11th and we'll go down 2 4 6 8 10 12 13 all right so back in our Lewis script we're going to add screen draw text 11 13 and then we're just going to add our text and all right so we'll just go see if this worked real quick oh looks like we missed our mark just a little bit because the fuel or the fuel text was too long so we'll move it back a little bit and we were at 11 let's move it back to about four all right that's a whole lot better that's almost perfect Okay, so now we're going to add those little tick marks and then we'll work on drawing a rectangle that actually goes with the amount of fuel that's measured in the microcontroller. All right, so we'll just give ourselves a couple line breaks here to separate our text from each other so we can keep them organized. We're going to do a screen and then we're going to draw a line. And if you remember, we did the ticks every eight blocks. So we'll do them every eight pixels. So let's say we start with 30, right? Because we have 30 here. That's our start. So we want to go in to 38. And we're going to do three in. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why did you do three and not two? Because we don't actually want to draw on that white line that our rectangle is. So we want to go in one pixel. <clears throat> You'll see what I mean. We're going to do 38 again because we don't want to draw from left to right. We just want to draw from one point straight down, right? So we will do 38 for that, and we'll do 4. I think that's what we had drawn on the roof up there. So all we have to do is add the top, and then we'll add the bottom, right? Because we have to do the little tick line on the on the bottom as well so we'll do the draw line and we can do our start is still going to be 38 from left to right but then our up and down is going to be 26 because that is the bottom of our rectangle if you see right here from 2 to 26 26 we have 38 again because we're not going left and right we're going up and down and we're gonna do 30 uh, reason being for 30 the difference between 26 and 30 is 4 just as the difference between 3 and actually hold on this should be 7 and 7 is 4 
So you have three to seven, four, 26 to 30, that's four. So those are four pixel high or four pixel long tick marks on the both the bottom and the top. And if you need to, you could label these like so, but uh, you're gonna be doing a lot of these in a row, so it's gonna get kind of jumbled up. All right, so now that we've typed those out, we're gonna have to do this eight more times. So we're gonna copy that. I'm gonna do a two line break so we can keep them separate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this 38 value here is, where, is a starting point, right? Off of 30, it's eight, eight more. So we're gonna do eight more here, which would be 46. And 46, we'll just change all four of these. All right, I'm gonna go ahead starting with 46 and I'm just gonna add eight sequentially all the way up. So uh, just give me one second here. All right, you'll notice I did not add eight. Uh, I didn't, didn't edit the bottom one here. That's because that's gonna be at the end of the bar. So we don't actually have to put a line there. So if you remember, we didn't do the ticks evenly, right? For the middle one, we drew a line straight from the top to the bottom. So actually we could do this one here. We don't actually need a bottom tick. We can just do one line from the bottom, from the top rather, all the way to the bottom, to 30. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and check that and see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see we missed our mark just a little bit. So all of our, our bottom row here has to come up a tad. Um, but overall, I think we kind of nailed it. So let's go ahead and just edit that real quick. All right, so I've changed these down to 28. And then since uh, these numbers weren't four away from 28, I've changed those to 24 to just keep them uh, a count of four away from each other. So we still have the same size tick. So we'll go ahead and uh, save that, run it. And there you have it. So we could, we're gonna make the quarter and the three quarter lines a little bit longer cause I don't like just how that looks. So I'm gonna change that up real quick. All right, so we wanna make those two ticks longer to kind of bring them out a little bit. We know this is the middle here, right? So we can actually do this half tank. We know that's half tank. And so this two ticks before that's gotta be the quarter. So we'll take this and make it 10. Now three plus what equals 10? Six, right? So let's do the same thing for this. 22 plus six is 28. And then we'll move to the other quarter. So if this is the half, this is the next tick, this is the one between them. We'll do this, 10, six difference there. And two plus six is eight. And that should give us what we were looking for. Let's run it and see what happens. All right, there we go. The ticks are looking good. We'll go ahead for our next step and we'll add in the rectangle behind it. Um, we'll just do like a solid color for now and then I'll show you how you can change it depending on the percentage. All right, with your Lewis script open, we're just gonna go to the top, press enter once, make a new line, and we're gonna make a new variable called fuel bar, just so it's easy to remember. And for this one, we're gonna do the variable of fuel, which we've already uh, declared above, and we're going to say the fuel uh, divided by 100, and then we're gonna times that by eight. Um, no, we're not, we're gonna times it by 34. And I'm gonna explain to you how I get this 34. So, all right, I'm gonna pump the brakes right there. When I did this tutorial, I made a huge mistake, and it just so happens that this calculation, or this formula rather, worked out to be close to what it should look like, but this is actually not right at all. I've worked it out and I'll share with you how to, how to calculate this here. What you wanna do is, and I'll give you an example. Um, for instance, if you have a credit card, this would apply to how do you find the percentage utilized of a credit card limit. So if you had a credit card limit of $5,000 and you used 500 of it, how do you find out what percentage that is if you can't do it in your head real quick? Well, you take 500 and you divide it by 5,000, which will give you 0.1. And then you times that by 100, and now you have 10%. The same thing applies to this. So you're gonna take your fuel, which is gonna be your lowest number, and then you're gonna take the max allowable full 100% fuel tanks. So if you don't know how fuel tanks work in this game, they're not as straightforward as you might think. You can't take, so for instance, a medium tank that holds 90, you can't just string four tanks together, medium tanks, and expect it to be 90 times four. 
it doesn't work that way in this game. I'll link my previous video in the description so you can take a look at that and figure it out. Or you can just pipe these out to a uh, microcontroller, which will add them up and put it onto a, a screen for you and you can see what the number values are. For my example here, we're using two medium tanks connected by a pipe, so we know that's 187.5. All right, that's the max allowable fuel. And then you're gonna divide this, not by 34, and not even by 100, like our credit card example. You're gonna actually divide it by the max amount of, of, of the scale, right? So we know that we started at 30 right here, and we went 64. So we're gonna do 64. Now, in the next couple steps, you're gonna see that we draw inside of the 30. It's gonna be like, we're gonna start with 31, because we don't wanna draw on that rectangle, we're gonna draw inside of it. Now that may come into play and you might wanna do like a 63, um, but we'll do a 64 for now. And just remember, every time you see this, this is wrong in the tutorial. All right, we're just gonna make a couple line breaks here and we will do a draw rect F. And we're gonna do 31 because we don't wanna be on that line. We don't wanna actually be on that line, we wanna be after it, so 31. Same thing with the next one, three instead of two. And then for the next two variables, they're gonna ask for a width and height. You could, instead of using a number, you could just use the fuel bar because we've established that it has a value up here. So we can just use that value. Whatever it needs, it's gonna use. And then for a height, we are gonna do 20, 25. And we might be off a number, so we'll go ahead and just run that. I think that's right, though. Yes, we are good to go. So as you can see, we didn't add any color to it, but we kind of just wanted to see if we were in the ballpark. So it looks like we're good. And actually, it looks like it's measuring our fuel already. Um, yeah, 89 is roughly um, roughly half of, of the capacity there. So it looks like we're, we're already measuring. It's only going to measure the blue one, by the way. So... That's looking good. Now we'll go in there and we'll give it a splash of color, shall we? All right, so just to add some a little color to this, we're going to make a line break right before that line. And we're just going to do, as we did before, set color. And then we'll do a RGB. So uh, let's say if we want it to be, I don't know, green. Does that sound good to you? 0, 255, 0. That is our green. So we'll set that color and we'll launch it and we'll go look at it. You might have noticed the green is over the white ticks and that is not what we want to happen because we want to be able to see those ticks, right? So the way that the Lewis script works is you, whatever comes first in the script is gonna be drawn first. So if you draw the ticks first and then you draw the, blue, the green square over it, you're gonna cover it up. So we're gonna to wanna to draw the square first and then the ticks. So all we'll have to do is just copy a couple lines and just paste them right back in there. So it'll be, it'll be too easy. All right, so we're in here now. We see our set color here and our draw rectangle. We're just gonna copy those and we delete them. And then we're gonna paste them up at the very top here. And as long as we get it in here above this, because you know this is gonna change it back to white. This obviously changed it to green. If we were to put this in after uh, it would change all these to green and we'd have to put another set color to change all these back to white. So we'll just keep that in that order. We'll go ahead and run that. And as you can see, we've got the green behind the white and everything is okay again. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test it real quick just to see if it works, right? So we got this fuel here. Let's just go ahead and type in a value of one, see what happens. As the fluid drains into the other tank, from the other tank, it will fill up, and it's slow. You can't really tell if it's moving, so it would be nice if we had like a number maybe, you know? And we can do that as well. So we could put a fuel value in here, and that's actually really easy. So we'll go ahead and add a fuel value so we can test. All uh, right, we're back in the Lua, and we'll go ahead and add after this, uh, at the very beginning, we're just gonna do a set, whoops, screen, set color. And we're gonna do a white, 200, 200, 200, not really bright. And we will just add another line here. 
and we will add a draw text. And this is gonna get a little funky, but I'm gonna put the first variable in here for you. So four, right? Because our font here that says fuel, it's gonna be left aligned. We want it to be left aligned, right? So it's gonna start at the same spot. This, this is 13. So we know that from the roof earlier that the letters are gonna be five pixels tall. So we wanna take 13 plus five, which is 18. And then we'll just add, um, we'll just add one to that to give it like a little white space to keep the letters separate. So we'll do 19. And for this part, we're gonna do something that you may have seen in another video. I'm not gonna go into it, but it's just gonna help us out, okay? So we're gonna do string.format and we're gonna make it so that we have two decimal places because if we don't, it's gonna give us like 10 and it's gonna cover like from one end to the other and it's just gonna be horrible and we'll hate it and we'll wish we never did it. So this is what you gotta type in. The two that I just typed in is how many decimal places and if you put it at zero, you have zero. So it's that easy. And then for um, the regular part of this, you would put in fuel. So we'll just add that in there and we're done because it's gonna take this fuel variable that we've established here whoop, and it's going to take the input value of that and it's gonna display it with two decimals places to the right in a left align with this, so it's in that position, and it's gonna be this color, which is, you know, like, and not so bright white. So let's save that and run it and see what happens. All right, and there you have it. We have our number at the bottom, 89.94. It's probably a little too far to the right. We probably could do to move both of these to the left, just a couple pixels. I think what's gonna happen is once this value here, it's already 89, it's only 50%. Once it hits three digits, it's gonna go underneath this bar here. So we can actually test that just by changing the value of this to one, and you'll see that go up. And once it hits, yep, once it hits 100, they're tucked behind there. So we can move it over to the left. You can do that. I'm not gonna waste the time on it. But for the next thing, we're gonna show you how to change the color of these. Now, I'm gonna link in the description uh, one of my previous videos where I did a low fuel light and basically it was a uh, indicator light that would be green solid and then once you got to 50% it would turn to yellow and it would flash and then again when you got to 25% it would turn to red and it would flash even faster. Now we're not going to do the flashing bit because I don't know how to do it first of all and I could take the time to figure it out but I don't think it would look good so why do that? But we will do the green, yellow, and red. This is going to involve a little bit more advanced Lua scripting, but I'll walk you through it. It'll be easy peasy. And we'll leave it open so you can go back in the future and you can change it up a little bit and you can make it, you know, however you want. Um, for testing purposes, we're going to give it a small range because we can't actually tip these tanks over and get, you know, we can't go from 100 to 25% if, just by tipping these tanks over. So just for testing purposes, we'll give it a smaller range. All right, so we gotta edit this for three different colors. And the way that we're gonna do that is an if, else if statement, or commonly known as if else. If you've ever heard of that before, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you've ever coded before, you probably know what I'm talking about. If not, then just hang tight. I'll make it as easy as possible. So we're gonna take all of this right here and we're gonna copy it. And then we're just gonna delete it. First things first, we are going to add an if statement. So let's get this open here. If we'll say the fuel which is a variable we used before. It's greater than 90. Um, so 90 being the, the actual value that you saw on the display earlier. Now, if you're using a small tank, uh, 90 is 50% of a medium tank or two medium tanks. 90 is 100% of one medium tank. So 
if you're using a small tank, for instance, you know, it might you might put 15.5 or something like that because that's half of uh, 31.25 roughly, which is one small tank full. So this will have to be written for the tanks that you're using. So 90, we'll close that out, and then we'll say then. And you know, I'm going to do myself a favor right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and push these in. So we'll do screen. Actually, we'll just paste what we had before. And we're just going to tab these all in here. Just going to make everything look better for me, for you, for everybody. So we got all of our lines in here. Now, what we have, what we want to have happen is we want to take the fuel here. And we want it to change color with the bar. So that way, not only the bar changes color, the text does as well. So we'll copy it and we'll delete it. And we'll put it right at the bottom here. Okay. And we want the rectangle to stay the same with the same color. And the fuel here we want that also to stay the same and we can actually shorten a little bit of this we could copy this take it out get rid of this guy and we could paste it right in with the rectangle okay now the actual fuel bar itself which is here it's gonna have a color of green so we want to steal that and we want to put it in here with the statement. The trick here is that we have to remember the first thing that you draw is going to be at the bottom, right? So we want to draw it at the bottom because we want these ticks right here to be on top of it. We don't want to hide it. So we'll go ahead and paste this in here. Tab that in. Will give us a little bit of a white space there so we can keep everything nice and organized. So, if it is above 90, we're going to set the color to green and we're going to write this. Correct? Well, we can take this guy here and then we can change the color one more time back to white and then we'll write the rest of this. Does that sound good? And actually, we're going to take this guy here because we want to change his color as well. And we'll just paste them up here with the fuel bar. So that way it green, it does these two things, then it writes the rest white. Okay? So for the next, we move on to the if else or else if, which is else if. So basically you can do if and else, which is this, and if it doesn't match that criteria, it'll do whatever's else. But since we have three variables, we have to do an if, else if, and then else. So it'll start at the bottom, or start at the top, work its way down, pretty much. So else if, um, we'll do fuel is greater than 80, because we have a small range, remember, for testing purposes. You could put this, you know, at 25% of your capacity, um, or whatever you wanted to do, really. So we're going to do green for above half we're going to do yellow for above 25%, um, but this is just 80. And we're going to do, oops, we're going to do a copy on all of this. I'm going to say, then paste it in there. We're going to change it to yellow, which we know is red plus is green. And then it's going to write these green, or yellow, rather. And then it's going to write these white. And then we're going to add a couple lines. And we're going to do another else. And then you don't have to do a then after else, because it's pretty much the fallback. Um, you don't even have to do a fuel anything. It's just whenever it's going to be below 80, it's going to be this. So for you, it would be below 25 or something like that, below 10, whatever you wanted to set it at to turn red. 
So we'll just do a new line. We'll get our indent there. We'll paste it in. We'll change this value here to red. Okay. So it's going to write that as red. The rest of this is going to be white. Now, trick here, and you might miss it, is you have to end this. Because the if else statement, else if, it's all underneath the function. It's embedded, right? That's why we do the line tabs. So you tab in one, and then you, you're you tabbed in, you're gonna do another one, it's tabbed in. And so you can end this on that tab, right? Because that's where it started, and that's where it ends. This helps you keep track of your code, and it makes it look good as well. So we got our end statement in there. Else is looking good. I'm just gonna double check all my values. 255. It's going to be greater than 80 than this. All right, I got my color in there yellow. This one's going to be green. Everything's looking good if then I've ended my stuff and all my indents look good. We're going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to update it and we will run it. All right, so it's looking good. Uh, you know, you can pick whatever color you want. White doesn't really show up <laughs> great with yellow, but I mean, it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and try this out. We'll say one and we'll send that off. And just like that, it's turned green because it's over 90% or 90 rather. We'll test it out in the other way and see if we can get the full range here from green to yellow to red. Now it's under 90, it's at yellow. As soon as it hits about 80, it's going to turn red. And there you have it. Uh, you could do the same thing with uh, the text that shows you the amount. You could uh, move the text that shows the amount inside the bar. You could take out the ticks. Um, you could do a lot with this. Um, and uh, the way that I have it set up for you, you could easily go in and change the order of things, um, change the colors, you know, do whatever you want and customize it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. Smack the like button if you like the video. Leave me a comment if you got any questions. I'll be happy to help you. Happy Veterans Day, and we'll see you next time.